you. This is the pre-tournament press conference featuring the Dukes of James Madison. We're joined by head coach Lauren Laporte and student athlete Odyssey Alexander. This is the Dukes first women's college world series appearance after having defeated Missouri in the super regional start with Shane Metlin. We'll start with Wayne Epps. Hi, uh, Wayne Epps with the Richmond Sound Dispatch. Um, I'll start with a, a couple questions for um, Odyssey. Um, this, this team is, you know, knocked on, on the door in the postseason each year. Um, you know, you've been here, you know, 2017, 18, 19. You know, how did those seasons kind of maybe prepare you and motivate you for this year? Now that you guys have gotten to, to, the, to that final stage, um, you have an opportunity to, 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 you know, make an impact here uh, as a fifth-year senior. Um, I think every year we got closer and closer. And I think the College World Series was a goal for each and every one of those seniors. I know I've said it um, multiple times in like post interviews and well, pre interviews and stuff. And I mean, we're finally here and I can't be more excited. Um, it's a blessing. Coach, would you answer that question as well, please? Yeah, I mean, I think obviously look, taking a look at our roster, like CC said, we're, we're veterans um, and we have seven seniors that start. And we talk about uh, Oklahoma City a, a great deal. And I think, you know, having that super regional experience and regional experience in, in their careers, I, I think it helped um, with, you know, the atmosphere. Um, I, I think the biggest difference for us as a staff and watching this team is that they weren't intimidated. Um, they thrived in the atmosphere um, and they knew what to expect um, and they ran with it and, and they were ready to go. I mean, their fight and their battle was pretty amazing. Dave Thomas. Hey ladies, congratulations. Odyssey, this, this question's for you to start with. Uh, uh, there's been a lot of people tweeting about you. Um, how have you handled, have you noticed the attention on social media? And, how does that make you feel? I know you and I have sat down and talked before. This is not maybe the most comfortable setting for you. So to get all this attention, how, how does that feel for you? I mean, it is, I mean, it means a lot to me to know that, you know, I am inspiring, you know, little ones and, you know, even older people. I mean, it means a lot. And to all of them, thank you. Um, <laughs> I appreciate everything, you guys, the support uh, from the fans, everything. Just, I appreciate you all. Eric Bailey from the Tulsa World. Yes, this is for both. Uh, just talk about the matchup with Oklahoma and what kind of game do you expect tomorrow, especially almost playing on a home with a, against a team with home field advantage? Start with Coach Bailey. Okay. Yeah. I mean, Oklahoma is a lot like Missouri um, as far as their high potent offense. And I think we all know that. I think, you know, Odyssey knows that. And um, what's really important, you know, going in tomorrow is, is getting prepared, um, you know, watching their hitters, trying to keep them off balance, really doing um, the things that she did to, you know, attack those hitters. And that goes for all of our pitching staff. Um, I think what's very important um, for us is that we stay grounded. Um, we stay within ourselves. We don't let anything affect us. Um, and we keep you know, playing JMU softball. Um, you know, we're going to play with a lot of heart. We're going to play with a lot of fight. And, um, you know, nothing – we don't want to change our mindset at all from what we did at Knoxville and um, Missouri just because, you know, we're here in OKC. Um, we need to stay within ourselves um, and keep the course. Odyssey? Um, I mean, just like she said, stay within ourselves. Uh, bring that heart. Bring the fight. Um, and just that passion for the game. Um, I know I love the game so much, and just to leave everything I have out there. TJF. Um, this question can be for both Coach and Odyssey. It doesn't really matter who answers it first. Um, but, Coach, um, for this team to make it and, and to be there, what's it like to finally be there? There's all the talk, all the celebration after um, at Missouri. Now that you're there, boots on the ground, um, just kind of what has the experience been like so far, um, and how, how, is, how is the team handling it? Yeah, I mean, I think the team's in a good place. I mean, we have been on the road for a while. Um, so just, you know, when we landed in Oklahoma City and, you know, we see the signs everywhere, um, it's it just – I think what's in really important um, for our team right now is just to enjoy the moment. You know, um, 
the team isn't going to be together that much longer. So it's very important to enjoy each other um, and just take everything in. Um, because, you know, in, in a lot of situations, this is what um, we dream about um, when we were young playing. Um, and I just think it's important. I know that I'm trying to do that a little bit better than I have in the past when, you know, we went had a super regional at LSU, I mean, against LSU. Um, and then we went to Michigan. Like, I can't remember a lot of it. So I'm really trying to soak it all in and just – um, ha have that special time with the players because relationships are, are what, what's most important um, within this team um, and the bonds that, you know, you build with these players, you're with them all the time. Um, so I'm just trying to soak in the last um, little bit we have with them. Odyssey. Uh, can I start going first? Because you just, like, really take <laughs> <laughs> it. But, I mean, honestly, what she said, just taking it all in, I mean, it's such a great opportunity because – I have been dreaming about this since I was little. Like, I remember just watching it on TV when I was, like, 10. And now, like, just sitting in this chair right now, I'm like, I'm actually here. It's <laughs> honestly a little overwhelming because it's like I can't believe it. But I am glad to be here um, just trying to take it all in, embrace each and every moment, you know, embrace the fans, um, embrace the atmosphere, just embrace it all. Jenny Carlson. Hey, Coach, Jenny Carlson with the Oklahoma. And can I ask you a little bit more about Odyssey and just her approach? I mean, obviously, softball is not a one-person team, but, or, I mean, she's, but she's obviously been in that circle and that position for you guys. What is it about her that's enabled her to, to do for you guys what she's done? And, and have you guys tried to build in anything to, I mean, I don't know, limit her, um, you know, stuff she does media-wise or fan-wise or just anything like that to – sort of try to help her carry the load a little bit better this year? I mean, you know, being a fifth-year senior and, and going through the grind as long as she's gone through the grind, um, CC has just her, her mentality, um, her growth, um, her maturity um, is just amazing right now. And, and the nice thing is she can handle a lot more than, you know, she, she could as a freshman and sophomore, just like all the players when, when they become seniors and, and now super seniors um, in a lot of programs' cases. So I think she's just um, – doing such a great job at being able to handle it all and enjoying it. Um, and I can tell you, like, she's just such a fighter. I mean, she's been through so much in her career, um, you know, personal things, injuries, um, just you, you name it. She's, she's been through it. And um, she's just – the fight is, is pretty remarkable. And the team, I think the team knows that. And the team has her back just like she has their back. And, uh, man, we, we've, I, I'm going to miss her a lot. <laughs> and I'm trying not to get emotional. <laughs> you about to make me emotional. <laughs> Wayne Epps. Yes, uh, this question for uh, Odyssey. Um, you know, I want to ask, each time you head to the park, how would you kind of describe the mentality you try to bring um, for what you want to give this team, both from a peer performance standpoint, um, that's also the intangibles, like the energy and the leadership that you try to bring as well? Um, I mainly try to stay calm in any situation because I know – when I was younger, that was honestly tough for me when things wouldn't go my way. Technically, I would get, you know, upset with myself and, you know, get down. But just like I said before, just embracing the moment and like knowing that I'm like here and like this is just a, such a great opportunity. And I mean, just bringing that calm, cool, collected attitude <laughs> mentality and um, just trying to be my best. Barry Trammell. Yeah, I ought to say you're too young or you weren't even born when this was happening. But there was a time when if somebody if, if we had a two to one game, it was high scoring one year, more than half the games in the World Series finished one. Oh, it's now clearly the offense is, you know, scores a bunch of runs. Has it turned too much as a pitcher? Do you feel like there's there's too much? Uh, it's too much of an offensive game now. If so, what can what can be done to sort of balance it back for the pitchers? Or do you like it the way it is? Um, honestly, we just had a close game where neither one of us really put the ball in play as much. And those are honestly the games I live for. I love the goosebumps. I love the you know the chills you get on your arm when you're at, you're at up to bat or you're pitching the ball. Um, I mean the offense. Uh, <laughs> It honestly can go either way. It's pros to cons to that question. Dave Thomas. 
have one for Odyssey and one for Coach. Odyssey, I'll start with you. One of the things that fans really noticed over the last couple of games is that intensity, that fire that you play with. Where does that come from? Where, where, where do you where do you draw that intensity from? Obviously, probably from your days growing and playing, but who did you draw that fire and intensity from? Um, I honestly do not know. I honestly couldn't tell you where it came from. But, I mean, I just know when I step on that field, I'm going to give it my all. I'm not backing down from anybody. Um, they Everyone puts their shoes on like I put my shoes on. Everyone puts their pants on like I put my pants on. So I'm just going to give everything I got. And, Coach, you and I have talked a lot about next game and this team being past the bat, but next game. This is maybe the biggest next game you've ever had. How do you keep that normalcy for next game? Yeah, I mean, like I said earlier, we don't, we don't play outside of ourselves. Um, we keep – um, you know, doing the things that we've been doing um, to be successful all year, um, playing JMU softball, um, being mentally tough, being gritty, um, and, and fighting till every last out. You know, we, like we told the team last week, every single pitch is going to matter. And uh, whether you're hitting or whether you're pitching or whether, you know, you're playing defense, every pitch matters. And um, I think that's what's going to be very important. Um, I think also just, you know, with this atmosphere and and with a sold out, you know, stadium, um, we have to use that to our advantage. I feel like our fans did a great job um, giving us energy and momentum in the games. um, And we need to be able to keep that. So, So use the atmosphere as an advantage. Eric Lopez. Co- for coach, uh, just talk about the state of Virginia for softball. There's a lot of success there. Virginia Wesleyan just won the national title in Division Three, and Coach Elliott talked about J- you guys being an inspiration. Everybody's talking JMU at that tournament. Everybody's talking JMU throughout the state. Obviously, the success Virginia Tech just got to the Supers. Why is the state of Virginia? Speak to the success at all levels for softball. Yeah, well, shout out goes to Coach Elliott. I mean, we're really good friends. Um, you know, we've 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 coached um, a long time. I mean, I actually grew up. Um, you know, um, in the D3 world with coaching. That's where I got started. Um, So I actually coached against Coach Elliott when I first got started. Um, I just think it's a pride thing Um, for the players that come out of Virginia and stay in Virginia. um, It's one of those things where a lot of the players play for their home state. You know, their families, um, you know, come to the games, um, you know, just like with JMU and in Harrisonburg. It's such a community um, type thing, just like it is a state. Um, following. Um, You know, the JMU Nation has been outstanding. And um, we have a lot of kids that that work. Um, If you take a look at some of the top pitchers in the country, they're coming out of the state of Virginia. Um, You know, and it's just kind of a work ethic, I feel like these kids have um, in our state and, um, you know, travel ball teams getting them prepared. But, you know, we're all very connected. Um, A lot of people know everybody, you know, in Virginia. It's a small, it's a small state and everybody kind of knows everyone. Um, So I just think it's one of those things where the kids, um, you know, want to play for their state and have a lot of pride, um, even when they do go out of state. Um, So it's kind of cool to see how much talent um, is going on in Virginia right now in in our sport. All right, last one for Ronald Smith, please. Yeah, this is Ronald E. Smith. My question is for Odyssey. You know, you talked about how you dreamt of this moment, and this moment means so much to you. But at one point last year, everything was taken away, and we're all just in our own thoughts. So I would love to know, what did you learn about yourself through that time to this moment right here? Um, During that time, I honestly learned to, you know, take the positives out of things. Um, I did have the opportunity to actually play softball. Um, So just embracing what all the memories I had during COVID, because I spent a lot of time with family, um, friends, and I mean, just taking the positive Positives out of the negatives, honestly, is what I learned from that. Well, that uh, wraps up our James Madison press conference. Coach Laporte and Odyssey, thank you very much for your time and congratulations. Thank you.